Hey folks, welcome to our garden. It is the 30th of December 2017 and uh, it's a good day for potting up uh, southern live oaks. So I had uh, over two dozen seeds, uh, acorns, sent to me from a friend in Virginia, John. John Saya. Thanks, John. And uh, these have all germinated. I actually put them in the baggie before we left for Hawaii, which was uh, around mid-November. And it, like I say, it's the 30th now, and these things have been rooted out for a while. So I'm just going to put them in 2.5-inch liner-sized pots. And uh, I'm using a Promix HP, which is a high uh, porosity um, uh, mix. with uh, It's got lots of perlite in it. So they got deep roots on them, tap roots. So we're going to put them in here for a bit. And then once they grow on, then I will step them up into one gallon just so that these are easier to store in the greenhouse. Um, watch, make sure you don't damage the roots on these things. I'll give you an idea what they look like. Right here, if you can see that, you see they got nice roots. There's the, uh, the little acorn. And they got lots of light, nice little uh, hair roots coming off the, uh, the tap root. And then they're sending out the uh, little stem right there. Aren't they beauties? So uh, we'll pot all these up and we put them in our unheated greenhouse and they'll be, uh, they'll be good to go. Very easy to, uh, to grow these here. We do grow live oaks on our island. Most of them are the canyon live oak from California. So uh, it'll be nice to have some of these southern, southern oaks from the uh, southeastern U.S. And they'll be perfectly hardy here on Salt Spring Island. So just uh, fill the pot up partially with the, the mix. And then you throw these babies in here and away you go. They should, uh, they should thrive. Love this weather. It's the perfect weather for gardening. And it's probably the only place in Canada you're going to be doing this, folks. I think the rest of Canada is probably shoveling a lot of snow right now and fighting some pretty bitter cold temps. All right, so that's the way it is. That's what they look like. Potted up into the 2.5 inch liner size pots. I'll grab the camera and I will show you uh, the mix I'm using here. Right there, there's the uh, sprouted southern oaks and then there's the mix right there. Pro Mix HP. Works just awesome. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, if you live in a similar growing zone or even a colder growing zone, try an evergreen live oak in your garden. Like I say, they are evergreen and uh, that's what makes them even more special. Have a happy new year everybody.